Hello, tiny foam people. Welcome to another video. Um, I'll be honest, this is going to be a little bit hit and miss everywhere because it is actually my fifth attempt at filming this video. Um, I don't know what it is about this particular video, but I've had audio problems, I've had video problems, I've had battery problems, I've had SD card problems, I've had every tech problem in the under the sun just on this video and it's the second video of the day but technically it feels like it's the 15th video of the day um this is the video of the what i referred to in a previous video as the silly expensive notebook it's the smithson company of smithson of bond street um just one second i'm going to edit this out but the dog has decided to grab something he shouldn't have so and a back i'm back so this is how they come when they're shipped to me, to us people, not just me. Um, nice presentation box. It's usually a ribbon, but I've had to tie this up half a dozen times myself. It's normally a bow, should I say? You undo them. And we have it's really good cardboard box. Then a little book wrapped in some paper and you then have the little block I'm just gonna move this out of the way as much as I like it it's gonna get in the way so a new brand spanking new Smithson notebook get the boring stuff out of the way it's nine centimeters three and a half inches 14 centimeters five and a half inches which actually as luck would have it is almost exactly the same dimensions as a field notes so for those of you wanting to know roughly how big this is i could be a giant with massive hands or i could be a small person with small tiny baby hands but there we go field notes it's exactly the same size Um, this is a new one, so hands on hand, cards on the table time. These books, these are the, the this is the Panama from Smithson. When I bought these, I've had these since last Christmas. After Christmas, I bought them in the sale. They're normally fifty pounds at the moment. If I remember, I will put a screenshot up somewhere of the current price. They're currently selling at forty pounds. I picked them up in the sale where they they tend to sell ones that are not selling that are pre embossed with a logo and stuff a little bit cheaper so i, I picked these up for 25 pounds so i picked two up last year uh, for the price of one in essence the way i saw it um this one i thought little book of brilliance obviously totally sealed not used i haven't had many brilliant ideas it seems um is going to stay on the shelf it's going to be my second one and the one that i've been using the most is the gray one that i purchased no writing on this one it's just that it seems that this gray color isn't that popular um don't know why it's not the best gray but it certainly looks nice and practical compared to some of the more boring just paper notebooks that i have um obviously we all know i use traveler's notebooks most of the time but if i'm going out for a family meal or something you can see it's not it's a bit thicker it's a bit more cumbersome about the same sort of size um to lay out but with the pen um with the with this it just fits in my back pocket doesn't leave a big bulk even put it in my front pocket with a pen um it's flexible. One of the things that Smithson do say about their their notebooks, it's made from calf skin leather and uses their featherweight paper, um, which is, if you can't see it on the camera, it never shows it. It is actually watermarked each page to stop copies of the paper in being made. It's lined, it's blue colored. Um, but one of the things they do say is that it, 
the way that it's bound and the way that it's put together, it's extremely flexible and can be folded and bent. So this one, for instance, you can just fold it over, grab a pen to give you an example, fold it over, jot down your notes and fold it back on itself, put my page marker back in and it, and it doesn't want to open up or close or anything. It's just so lovely to use. So the build quality does sort of warrant the price in my opinion. Um, in the front of it, this is the Smyston of Bond Street, the Panama information there. And the next page, Frank Smyson invented it in 1908. Um, they call it the Panama Hat of Books. So whatever you take from that, you might be able to read this if you pause it or zoom in or whatever you tech people do. But since the early 1900s, it's been around, I believe, 1887, Smythson as a company were created. Um, yeah. Long heritage for a book, a piece of paper, stationery. So with such heritage, you would anticipate, quite rightly, that the paper is absolutely brilliant. It takes fountain pens amazingly well. It takes rollerball amazingly well. Different coloured inks amazingly well. I've even done an ink test to show. So something I did note on this, because the paper is so good, like a lot of good quality papers, it doesn't. It does take a while for certain inks to dry. They just sit on the surface for a little while. So Lamy 2000, Diamine Ink, I believe it's probably um, Earl Grey, um, dried relatively quickly, totally usable. Um, custom wood pen, as I call it. Um, that's my pen that someone bought me for Christmas. I believe it was the wife and it was hand handmade, quite a nice pen, fine nib, um, does have some sort of orangey red ink in, can't remember. I'd have to look it up. Pilot vanishing point. Here is one of the ones that this is currently inked with noodles black and this ink takes a long time to dry and it pulls on the surface. It's a very wet pen. So the combination is, is quite a tricky one, but it doesn't bleed through. Little bit of shadowing, which I've never been a problem with, but doesn't bleed through, doesn't feather, takes it perfectly. I've then got, I'm gonna call it a Marjon. Sometimes they're called Moonman, Moonman, um, fine nib. That's the Vanishing Point clone. Fine nib, took it perfectly. Lamy Ion, medium nib, Lamy um, Coral ink, looks lovely on the blue paper. Twisby Mini, um, medium nib, great day-to-day -day writer, probably one of my favourite pens. I've just dropped it on the floor, so I won't pick that up because that'll just annoy me more when I try and film it again. And then blue ink test, which I did on one of the... Um, video attempts using the Nawal fountain pen um, with a, it's a me they say it's a medium, but it's quite, quite a thick medium nib is the Nawal. Um, pulled for a while, transferred a little bit over when I closed it in, in anger when the battery died. Um, yeah, takes it well. Blue paper doesn't really affect me or bother me too much about the different colors. Maybe they're not as vibrant as they would be on a white paper or a cream paper. But my writing looks like a spider's fallen into an ink pot, ink pot and run across the page anyway. So does it really matter if it's not vibrant? Probably not. It's just a practical, well-used notebook. This, is, this has been in my pocket two or three times a week for about a year and the binding is holding up none of the stitching is going none of the pages are falling out the leather cover is protecting the paper perfectly none of the pages are dog-eared just the leather binding it's well used well loved and 
considering it does the same as this one, which was in my pocket for a long time, I'm more than happy to carry this. And if I'm at, having a family meal and I need to take a note or remember something, pulling this out on the table, jotting my note down, putting it back in my pocket, just looks a little bit nicer than pulling this out. This is my job site work notebook type thing, which my traveler's notebook has taken over. But pulling that out or pulling this out just adds, as I would feel, a little bit of class. Not that I'm a classy guy, but probably why I don't use it so much because I feel a little bit intimidated by the paper and the quality. Um, pick them up in the sale. Definitely pick them up in the sale. And I don't think you'd be hard pressed to, to find a use for it. It's a great little book. It's so hard wearing. Such a great book. Um, someone in my comments, and I can't remember who or what it was, they, they, they mentioned in the UK there's a department store called TK Maxx. They do clothing and homeware, and well, they're a bit of everything. And they do a lot of stuff discounted. And a previous video, I found some moleskins and some Leuchtturm notebooks that were discounted, um, quite heavily discounted. And, and someone mentioned that Smythson was there. Didn't believe them. I had to go and have a little look. And where have I put it? There it is. I actually picked up this there. This is very similar. It, well, it's the same. It's just bigger. Not a, It's probably 11 centimeters, four and a quarter inches. And then my ruler's not big enough, so I'm going to say six and a half inches, 17 centimeters. Um, it, it looks like it's A5. Don't think it is. Um, because it's smaller than the moleskin. Um, what else have I got to hand? Leuchtturm. It's bigger than the Leuchtturm, which I believe is A6. So it's a it's a funny size. Not quite sure what it is, but this one they call the Chelsea. And I did do some research on this. I wrote it down in this book. So the Chelsea retails at a hundred pounds. That's a lot of money for a notebook, even by my standards of addiction. Um, again, I suspect that these are heavily discounted in the Christmas sales or Black Friday sales if they do do them, especially if they are embossed and logo. Writer's Rain. Yep, okay. Don't know what, what I'll use that for, but it's a lovely book. I paid £30. Yeah, £30. I'm looking at it now thinking that is a lot of money for some paper bound in leather. But the quality of it is exceptional. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a pass there and say it was well worth the £30. And as a saving, that'd be great. What are your thoughts? Would you use these as an everyday notebook? Would you um, enjoy using them as an everyday notebook? Knocked over one of my cameras. Let's see, would you? I don't know. I, I use it, I enjoy it. I'm not gonna feel guilty about it anymore and I'm just going to use it. Um, but I suppose I'm always gonna be drawn to my go-to traveler's notebooks. They are my everyday's carries, but I suppose weight-wise, this is a lot lighter. So yeah, date night, weekend carry, work carry. I have a problem, don't I? So 
let's just admit it, and that will create some sort of group, maybe for um, Stationary Addicts Anonymous or something. Um, well, have a good one. Thank you very much, Tiny Phone people. <laughs>